over to here. St. John's will take on Celtic. A very pleasant day too in the fair city of Perth. The sunshine is just beginning to set. The floodlights are already... Let's face it. As we get older, our stomachs get bigger. Does your stomach get in the way when you put your socks on? Well, here is something to help. This is a new me. I'll be training all the time now. This is where you start to see results. This is a revolutionary solution to help us all live a better life. We actually held the weight that we lost in our hands. You've got another minute and a half. That's the good news, yeah? yeah I've got two daughters and they're really chuffed at them. Participate. What did it say the good news was? <laughs> How does it work? And what exactly did it mean to these guys to turn their lives around in just 12 weeks? <laughs> the fact of the matter is this. If we've put on three pounds a year since we were 25, by the time we hit 45, we're over four stone heavier. Roughly two in every three of us are now overweight, with just under one in four considered in the danger zone, known as clinically obese. So you're currently in the obese category for class two. So basically you are considered sort of being clinically obese. After smoking, obesity is the most important preventable cause of cancer, so it really has a huge health implication. There'll be a lot of men who are watching this programme who describe themselves as being fat bees. But when we actually start to talk about things like clinical obesity, men uh, get a bit scared. They don't want that word associated with themselves. would like to do something about it, but really, can they be bothered? He's right, but where to start? On a sentence! What if? Football is something that does get us off the sofa. So why not base lessons on healthy living in an SPL club? This simple yet original piece of thinking is exactly what football fans in training tried last year. Run by the SPL Trust, it was so successful that this season the pilot was rolled out to every club. And rest there, well done. To qualify, fans had to be between 35 and 65 years old with waist circumferences over 100 centimetres and trousers bigger than 38 inches. They had to be male because, in Scotland, this is the group currently causing most concern. The amount of people now taking part means the pilot expanded into not only a true scientific study, but also the first of its kind in the world. I understand any information I provide will be treated in the strictest of confidence. Sure. All the data that we're collecting from the men, their height, their weight, their BMI, their blood pressure, their eating habits, their physical activity and their general well-being, we think the programme should improve all these things. What we're doing over the course of the next 12 months is finding out whether we're right or not. Newly promoted to the SPL, this was the first time Dunfermline had run a course. You will never achieve your target if your attitude's not right. See, when I get up in the morning, I'm a wee bit... I think my eyes are still shut, right? Before I wake up, I go, well, this is what I do. I go... <coughs> and I didn't touch wet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right then, I say, Right <laughs> on, let's go. Because I'm not in that coffin yet, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's things to date. See, when you see that big steak pie, <laughs> see that big chicken pie, see if you've got the, if you've not got the courage to say, f***. <laughs> 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 hey, sorry. That's BBC, that's me. Hey. Children parties. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Courage, lads. <laughs> Opening night at St Johnson was all about pedometers. Baseline step count is the number of steps that you take in a regular week. Okay, so the way we measure that is once we've got the pedometers working is you need to take a note daily of how many steps you've taken. The way it works is, when you put your foot down, the jolt comes up through your knee, so it needs to be up above your knee on the side. 
it jolts down and it'll give a little vibration and that'll give you your steps. So every step you're taking, you're giving that little vibration, it'll come up. Right, let's go. <laughs> As an 18 year old, I was part of the team of four with Campus Lang Harriers that won the Scottish Cross Country Under 20 Championship. I just want to feel, feel better than myself. I know what I used to feel like when I was running. And I want to get back to, to being able to do things like that. The first three or four weeks, it's really about you guys getting familiar with your pedometer and getting used to the steps that you need to do to meet the little goals that we set you. Right guys, so what we've got here, if you have a look at it, these are your typical um, food groups. Is this one portion of meat then? Yes. At this fatty bit, I'll probably be bigger, and you'll start to get this bit maybe even higher. It's very difficult to do this on your own. Very difficult, I believe. Being in amongst a group of people, I've got an extra support there. It's harder to give it up now. Obviously, I'm really overweight and I don't feel good about myself, and I want to do something positive about that, and I want to change that. I'm actively seeking work as well, so, you know, the, the fitter I am, the better I feel, the more confident I am. It's not just about losing weight. I'll see you next week. Well done, guys. Good stuff. So, if you look at page three, <laughs> anybody else do a lot more walking in that week than they did previously? Anyone over Celtic were part of last season's pilot. Demand for their course meant they had to run classes on both Monday and Friday nights. <laughs> and many people restrict themselves to that if they're having chips. <laughs> Joe? So we, who decided yeah. what a portion was? Who, who, you know, how did you come to that? It's the amount of calories that, calories. Uh, that are, are in. Right, Steve is going to take you for a wee, wee walk around the... To be honest, the likelihood of me joining the gym was probably slim, but, but as soon as I seen Thank this, you. the fact that Celtic were involved just made it instantly yeah. sort of more attractive. Well, my wife and I had a child last year and essentially just wanted to get myself more fitter. So I'm around for her growing up and uh, so I can be more active with her when she starts to walk and stuff like that so I can so I'm not out of breath or, or whatever. I just want to basically do it for her. 8,401. 8,401. Brilliant. The food diaries, they are useful because they accurate. Jerry! Go on. Not everyone is a supporter of the club where they train. <laughs> Perfect, dog. Perfect. No, I'm a Rangers supporter. But with them family being my closest ground, that's where we travel to uh, every Wednesday. Well, I've been getting in my car in between hires and walking around my car and walking up and doing the rank and speaking to everybody and just try to walk, exercise more. Eh? It doesn't give you. Well, but the pedometer helps. I think it does, aye. Definitely. I came home at 11 o'clock one night and um, I hadn't done enough steps. I had to go out for a 40 minute walk at 11 o'clock at night just to get the steps up. So I would have yes. So start of the season, we're at McDermott Park watching the Rangers and a guy in a clipboard stopped me. Yeah, I must have looked quite heavy. Alcohol is measured in units. I was a wee bit shocked actually because a lot of them was a, a lot bigger than me and I didn't know if I was, I know I'm quite heavy, but I didn't realise I was so. Obese as they, that's what the class does. Hey Emma, how are you getting on? I'm getting funky here, didn't you watch me? That's five kilos, it maybe doesn't sound a lot, but you do notice that your, my shirts, my jeans are a wee bit slacker on me and got more, more energy and walking, exercising, but your pedometer becomes one of your, you know, you're, I'm checking, I'm constantly checking it to see if I've got enough steps. If I haven't got enough steps, well, that's what for a walk at night. 
it's not just a 12 week course, I think they've, they've emphasised that you have to try and change your whole lifestyle, you know, and if that makes you a wee bit fitter and, and it reduces the risk of heart or stroke or diabetes, I think we'll have to try and keep doing it. So did you do this all day? Ah, as much as I can anyway, if I go a bit higher I'll just get out and walk about. I'm 51 now and that, um, you didn't want to get any heavier and run the risk of heart, heart attacks or diabetes or anything, eh? So it's, it's, it's a health thing, it's definitely a health thing. As I say, I've got two daughters and they're really chuffed that I'm participating and I'm trying to lose a wee bit. And they've given me plenty of support as well. I'm quite happy if I was had in my head maybe losing half a stone or something, but you know, I want to get over a stone and lose maybe a stone and a half if I can. I've only six weeks to go, so it's, I'll have to walk around my car more often. The course is not just about exercise. Around half the time is spent in the classroom discussing a range of topics, like what you eat and when you eat, so-called comfort eating. The best thing is to have the walk really hot. It is the thing that a lot of people do, and it's good to talk about it with the rest of the guys, because basically everyone's in the same boat and everyone's seen the same thing. I chopped the turkey breast up um, just very thinly. It is mood dependent, it is what you're doing. If you're sitting in your fed up, you're watching a game of football, you think, I think I'm going to have a packet of crisps, or on a Sunday, do you know what, I'll go back to work tomorrow, I can't be bothered cooking. Yeah, so, you know, I'm kind of aware that that happens and it does go on. There's plenty here, so... It does make you sort of maybe think the next time I'm going to do that, next time I'm in a position, I don't know, maybe tomorrow night, I'm all my dad's watching the Champions League, consider me going and get a packet of crisps, it might actually hit on my head when I go to do that, not to do it. Because it is kind of hard to think about it, but... Side and I just must have gone over. I don't know, pulled, pulled the muscle or whatever. Quite embarrassing for that to happen during the warm up. I'm not used to having sporting injuries. Hopefully, next week. Alan had to sit out a couple of weeks but returned to complete the course. In fact, around three quarters of those who start the course make it to the end. At the halfway point, I'm actually on target to hit the goal for the whole period. I've lost 5% of my weight, which I'm delighted and a little bit amazed at, in all honesty. I'm so I'm on target to, you know, to lose 10% by the end of the 12-week period. One of the things we did tonight was we actually held the weight that we lost in our hands, and that was quite an eye-opener. You know, if you were carrying that about, the thing that you were physically carrying that weight, all day when you're walking about and you're at work. It goes in in no time at all. One of the things we discussed tonight was trying to keep in touch with each other, and I think we will do that after the course is finished. So whether it's we start up a walking club or we get together for five a side, whatever it is, I think we'll, we'll try to put some kind of mechanism in place that we can keep it going. for around about six, have something to eat, sit for 10, 15 minutes and just get back out, walk down here and uh, spend the hour here and walk back up. You do that every night? Most nights. I'm probably at a point where if I don't do something about it, in all honesty, I never will. 
you know, yeah, I could probably just quite happily bowl the long as I was before. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I've done this. It's strange because as you do lose a bit of weight, I think you actually get to a point where you feel as if you have more energy rather than less. It's just a habit like anything else. That's almost me. That's me. I don't fancy that. It's too cold for that, lady. Well, in the water, eh? Probably at the start of the programme I couldn't have walked and talked at the same time because I'd have probably been out of breath, but now I'm feeling fat I could walk for miles. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. The thing that really amazed me was when they gave us a pedometer and I was only doing like 2,000 steps a day. And then I didn't realise how little that was until they told us at the class that anything under 5,000 is really, you're not doing anything. And I live by my pedometer now, that's, it's on all the time. Uh, and I'm always going, right, I need to get more steps, I need to get more steps. I am 27 at the moment. I was actually 14 and a half stone at one point, and actually people didn't want to say it to me because they thought I was ill. That was about 15 years ago or something like that. A lot of it was comfort eating as well. When you were stressed at work, you would come in and you would just grab the first thing that you could see, you know, if it was a pizza or a crisps or whatever. But now I've got it all set out what I'm going to eat uh, for the week. I, I try to think about it in advance now. And I make time for myself now for the gym. Taking control of my life. This is a new me, this is me. I'll, I'll be training all the time now. And I don't eat bags and bags of crisps anymore now. Me from now on. I look forward so much to my Monday nights and going along, even though it's only two hours, you wish it was a lot longer or it was more often, and going to Parkhead every week. <laughs> I love that. And get out the tunnel every week. Well, the hairs in the back of my neck standing up and. <laughs> See what I mean? Come on, boy. See when you swag all these players. Think about how good you are yourself when you're beat food. Loving this. Loving football. I used to play Saturday, Sunday, midweek, five or sides, a whole lot. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And I love it with the boys here as well. Everybody's like-minded, you know, so and there's, you don't feel out of place. It's fantastic. I started working at home about ten years ago. So I was sitting at home, you just go through to the fridge grab a bag of crisps, grab a bit of chocolate, and you would do that a couple of times a day easily. And just over 10 years, it's just built up. Every year, another half stone, and now I want to reverse it and be going the other way. Every day now, you've got a 20 minute walk to go and get your paper at lunchtime, and then again, another longer walk in the evening, just to try and get your steps up. And that evening one gets longer all the time, because every week I want to be a bit further. Yeah. In five weeks, Tom's notched up over 400,000 steps on his pedometer, but he has sights on a bigger milestone. There was a mention on the very first day of somebody managed a million steps. Uh, there's probably a 50-50 chance that I'll manage that. Three months ago, I hardly walked at all, and now Every day, you're a couple of hours walking at some point or other. It's a real couch potato into doing loads of exercise now. We've got 30 seconds left to go. How are you feeling? Talk to me. Talk to me. Knackered. Knackered. <laughs> Doing well, boys. Go on, keep going. Let's put it in. Yeah, let's go. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Doing well. Suck it in. Yes, yeah, suck it in. Good. Didn't say it was going to be easy. But this is where it starts to hurt, yeah? Motivation goes downhill, but this is where it counts, and this is where you start to see results. You've got to fight through it. We keep going. Yeah, but lift the stomach off the ground. Perfect. There, there. Good, good. You've got another minute and a half. That's the good news, yeah? 
What did he say the good news was? <laughs> <laughs> done planks. You're looking pretty good, yeah? So what I should be able to do huh? should be nice and firm. When I sit on you, you should be holding it nice and tight. Perfect. Well done, big man, yeah? <laughs> well done. Good, good, good. Well done. Good. Well done, squats. Keep those hands out. Yeah? I'm not going to lie. You're going to be walking like John Wayne tomorrow morning. You're doing fine, though. Oh, pain, 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 pain. Oh, did he come in for a close-up? Oh. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Come in you can see the look of people thinking, well, I've just done that. You know what I mean? I've just done 45 minutes of a spin cycle class. I've done a boot camp for an hour. You know what I mean? Whereas I couldn't walk the length of my, myself six weeks ago. Ah, you'll be pretty sore there, yeah, I'm not going to lie. A hot bath but is always good, yeah? We just went down to the concourse and we had to basically run round the length of the park. And they asked us to do it another two times. Didn't quite make it running all the way, the second and the third time, but I was definitely feeling the pace. I realise I'm doing fit, I'm ah, but all different levels and it's going to happen, but it will happen. After that, we've done some uh, work with a medicine ball which involved doing like a couple of steps and a lunge and then backwards and forwards. You will feel this easing off as we go. It's a really important part of anybody's training. Woke up on Tuesday and I could hardly move. Um, basically, I just had pain in my leg and stuff like that. I suppose that's because I'm not used to doing sort of any exercise, never mind sort of more intense stuff that we've been doing. I just had this kind of impression of gyms like full of all these sort of skinny minis and muscle berries, you know what I mean, and don't really know how I kind of would fit into that sort of scene because it's just not me. Never really a thought I'm going to go on a diet or to me going on a diet was something that my wife and her friends talked about, they were always on diets, my mum talked about, it was never something that I really consciously thought, oh, I'm going to be going on a diet or but it's not a diet as such, it's just more of a change of what I'm doing, basically. Nice bracing walk on a Sunday morning, just a job. I used to weigh this much. <laughs> <laughs> I've struggled a few weeks with the exercises and the training and that. I'm trying to keep going because I know if I stop, I'm just going to get back into the old habits here. Huh? I'm eating fresh veg just about every tea time now. I'm eating a lot more fish. I'm drinking a lot more water. I don't have fizzy juice, so it's things that were second nature to me before I came along to this. You wouldn't go up to somebody and say, oh, you're a beast, would you? You might go up and say, oh, you're a bit fat, ain't you, mate? Eh? But it's harder to take that word than somebody saying, oh, you're fat. Hey, that word, a beast. It's only a wee word, but it does have big ramifications. Somebody says, right, you've got to go to Slimming World for six, for ten weeks or twelve weeks and all that. I, I dare say I wouldn't be as comfortable as I am now in it. I, I don't think I could do that. But because it was through the football club and it was with other football-minded fans, I think that's what's made it a lot easier. I've lost just on 11 kilos in eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, I've got two young daughters, and if I keep doing it, then I'm going to enjoy it more with them being slightly overweight and not as healthy as I have been, they suffered as well. Eh? <laughs> Finally going to crack a million steps. I think you have to do it to understand what went into it. It's 11 weeks of constant fitting time in, you know, in between a job or doing other stuff with the family to get two or three hours a day walking done. After 12 weeks of adding up his daily step count, Tom's millionth was in sight. What could go wrong? Shit. Shit. What's happened? <laughs> 300 past it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. No problem. 
do it again. <laughs> Tom's achievement is the equivalent of walking from Perth all the way to Birmingham. I'm not really going to celebrate it at all. It's become a way of life now. And I want it just to stay that way. I don't want that particularly to be special as such. I just want it to be normal. You know, and get myself back to fighting fitness, fighting weight again. I love that view. Pretty sad that it's come to an end. I absolutely loved every minute of it, so um, but I'm really gonna really gonna miss it. Cut a wee bit on from last week because I was over at my mum's and overindulged in Ireland, so there you go. Not unexpected, but back on it for next week. I'll just pop that round a little bit more. <sighs> Yeah, if you stand down the other way so your heels are against the back yeah. of the frame, that'd be great. 20 centimetres off my waist, about a stone and a half thereabouts. That's equivalent of 51 inches. I yeah. don't know if that's supposed to be your ideal weight or, or what, but it just shows you still just the start of journey, I suppose. The thought of coming tonight and thinking it's the last time the group's going to be all together, it's a bit sad. The way in, I'm not, I'm not getting hung up about the way in. I did before, but I'm not getting hung up about it now because I know how I'm feeling. And I'm feeling better and things are fitting me better and I'm feeling better within myself. So I'm happy with it, you know. As long as I've not put any weight on, I'll be happy. Get the trousers that I can get into now that oh, I never, I couldn't before. So I can tell by that alone that I have lost. You know, maybe not lost it in the weight, but lost it in inches. I'm a wee bit peeved at it, a wee bit. You know, that I never lost as much as what I thought I was going to lose. You know. But anyway, I'll be upbeat about it. At least I didn't put weight on. The first part of the course is now complete. But if you are feeling motivated, check out football fans in training on the internet. These guys will be monitored for the next nine months, and only after a year will the scientists know for sure that combining football with lessons in healthy living actually works. What we're interested in is the long-term outcome. So we've, we've not got the men to come on the program and just lose weight over 12 weeks. The important thing for them is to keep it going for 12 months. So well done, guys. Give yourself a big round of applause. Good stuff. You're quite intelligent, my back on there. <laughs> yes, do want to do it again. If it comes to try and do it in 10 weeks to get the second million, you want to keep going. Try and get my weight down. Try and get back out and do some more running or more, more strenuous exercise. You get a habit, well for me anyway, it's creating a different habit, a better habit. And for me that's been taking exercise in the evening rather than sitting in front of the TV and eating. So, you know, it's the, the benefits are there to be seen, it's, it's tremendous. I'm certainly sleeping better, big time. A lot more uh, energy as well now. But I see wee changes like that, so it's been good that way. First time I ran was basically when I came here, for since I was in my early 20s probably. Um, so I can do that now, albeit not very fast, not very good, but it's a start. It's the best thing I've done. The course is 12 weeks long or 14 weeks long, but I'm not just doing it for that and then switching off. I'm going to keep doing it. I will certainly try and take it further, take it into your life as well. That's our speech for the government, eh? Oh, uh, that's